Hey, what's up citizens? This is Prez Vocelli, back with another episode of Bioshock Infinite. So, last time, uh, we went to the shanty town, uh, stole a bag of coins from some poor people. That was, uh, why? Why, man? Why would I be such a jerk like that? Um... Um, and had a huge battle with a bunch of police officers uh, who were guarding this impound here because I'm searching for Chen Lin's um, wep weapons making tools thingies. Yeah. So I'm gonna go over here, see if I can get any sweet fat loot. Oh boy, um, the Fitzroy spotted, I see. The Fitzroy spotted. Vile Vox Populi Leader, Daisy Fitzroy. Uh, come on, I couldn't read that. No, oh, just, okay, gliding around on the rails. <gasps> the shocked face of the great prophet has foreseen her end. Only he can protect us. Our prophet. Finn! Um, do I want a repeater? Nope, you know what? You know what? I'm now asking for the number nine in pain. I'm going the hand cannon and the rocket launcher. I'm gonna supersize on sucker. And bam. Wait, I think this is the time I need to murder crows. Ow. Yes, yes! Thank you, Elizabeth! Ooh. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Bam. Mm. Itchy nose. Ow. Jeez, I didn't... That thing's moving a lot more quickly than I would have thought. Up. Sorry, getting a phone call, but gonna have to wait at the moment. There we go. Whew. Got the crank in the back. And, um... Hmm, I can get a crank gun. That is an interesting proposition. But you don't know, I am sticking with my number nine! It is a time-tested favorite. For the first time. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, I kind of was just casually strolling along, uh, getting headshots on the way. Here's the job, and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox, and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard ship, while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. If Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. More like you're gonna be dead. <laughs> so, um. Hmm. Shot him dead. Underground base in Fink Town. Okay. 
Okay, locker room? Is that where I want to be right now? Uh, no, right no, now. No. I want some medical kits. Hmm. In combat, can't lockpick it. Okay, so I gotta... Gotta take some more suckers out first. Up, oh, up, yep, yep, there we go. We got the crow nest here. Yeah, just waiting to peck somebody's eyes out. My little babies. They argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about for my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. Hmm. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, could already tell she uh, she was the murderer of uh, Lady Comstock. Yep, search that desk. Okay. What in the? Yeah, I guess that's his machine there. Don't exactly know what the chains are going to add to protecting that. Elizabeth busy. Well, what is Elizabeth doing? Hmm. Maybe she's uh, picking up some more goodies for me. Because she's just awesome like that. Hmm, I think he had a case of explosive diarrhea. <laughs> I, I apologize for that joke. The, the prophet's voice. Hmm. Columbia Authority. I, I, I don't know. Something looked more. Uh, something about that looked more like um. You know, that was a priest uniform instead of a cop's uniform. Alright, anyways, uh, now I should be able to lockpick things. First off, I will start over here. Oh, ooh, that's gonna require five. But for one of those babies, yeah, that that's definitely worth that's it. Putting those lockpicking skills to work. Sure thing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, some gear. Coat of harms. Ah ha ha! Ah ha! I, I see your pun there. Uh, new shirt. So, enemies become easier to melee execute. So what am I wearing right now? Enemies provide. No, I am definitely keeping my current thing. Thank you very much. So, um. I'm gonna get some more shield. But next time, I definitely think I wanna go for salts. Uh, okay. Yeah, since I'm gonna be using um, the crow powers a lot more frequently. Let's see. Was there uh, another lockpick? Now we just have to get them back to the box. Then we get our airship. Locked. Elizabeth? That won't take but a minute. It's done. Who are we really helping by getting guns to the box apocalypse? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. <laughs> Booker is giving no sh no shites right now. Hmm? But, but, oh, okay, there's the barrel. There's the barrel. Let's see. The soul founders. The founders will bleed. Ooh, and no, covered in cock. And no. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I don't like that. Bunch of meany, poopy butt heads. Yeah. Well, we sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we think this all the way through. 
What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. Back at the shop. Booker, if we go into this tear, I don't think there's any turning back. You sure you want to go now? It keeps telling me just to open tears in the fabric of space and time. I, I, I don't know. I, I think this game is uh, trying to get me to do stupid things. Trying to use its peer pressure on me. Hmm. Well, Come on, let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for a while. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. Um Yeah, kind of romanticizing arm rebellion there, aren't you? <laughs> I love the ghetto scope on this. The Vox are coming. They're attack. They're attacking a um, an armed police impound lot. Wow! It sounds like they already got their weapons. You ever see a force at the beginning of a fire? the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we're going to see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it? Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut at this place. Okay, nothing new in there. Looks like undersea mines. Of course, they're painted red, so... That usually means it's part of the box. Hmm. Um, so. Well, you know what? Uh, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. You know, it's just a nice, uh, nice logical place to stop after we cleared one area. So, hey, if you like this video, a logical thing to do is to press that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links to which are in the description below uh, to stay updated on my videos. And finally, uh, make sure to share the video with others. Um, you know, you get to share the love, uh, get other people to enjoy my stuff, and also increase my viewer base. It would be very much appreciated. So, again, thank you very much for watching, and this has been President Vocelli signing off.